your cover letter, you need to focus on the specific job you're applying to. Um, so every point you make in a cover letter should relate back to the job, whether it's the skills and experience mentioned in the advert, uh, the team that you're applying to be in, or the company you want to be a part of, presumably. Um, a cover letter is an introduction. It's a, it's a start to a conversation that you hope they will reply to. Um, so it's different from a CV in that this is a chance to show your personality. This is a chance to show your research as well and your knowledge on the kind of work that the team does, whether it's crime novels or picture books or science journals. You want to be able to talk confidently about uh, relevant current or upcoming publications in that area. Um, and no one expects you to know this off the top of your head. So it's absolutely fine to go away, do a bit of research and then talk about it in your cover letter. So a cover letter is your opportunity to speak directly to the recruiter. Uh, keep it nice and simple and get the basics right. So make sure you've got your contact details at the top so they know how to get back in touch with you easily. Um, start with a nice formal introduction. So dear sir, madam, or the recruiter's name rather than hey, hi. And a top tip would be to emphasise an interest in publishing as an industry rather than just a love of books, um, because we're so much broader than just the printed product now. If you can add the words, can you, to the job specification, you'll see what the employer is asking for. So it's normally, can you produce results? Can you manage social media? And then your cover letter should effectively be you saying, yes, I can produce results. Here's an example. Yes, I can manage social media is another example. Make sure you big up those areas where your experience fits the job description. Focus on what you can bring to the company and not what the company can do for you. So the cover letter is a really great opportunity to show why you want to work for that specific company. What is it about their publishing programme that attracts you to work for them? And what is it about their values that you can sort of get on board with as well? Um, and also why you're attracted to that particular type of work. So whether it's editorial, marketing, rights or sales, what is it about that specific department that really interests you? <music> One really important rule is don't put in that you pay attention to detail and then have a spelling mistake. Stick to the point. Don't waffle and don't say you love books and reading. We assume that is true for people applying for publishing jobs. There's such a thing as over pitching. So try to be careful to avoid hyperbole. Um, sentences such as, I know I'd be the most phenomenal asset to your team um, that you could ever imagine. Um, come from a great place, um, but, but perhaps don't strike the right tone. So keep it nice and professional and formal. So something that's um, slightly irrelevant that people do often mention in their cover letters is a backstory. Um, so talking about their love for books, whether that was um, because they loved reading as a child or if someone special introduced them to books or if they went to the library all the time. Um, Obviously, this is an important part of your um, backstory, but you have really limited space in your cover letter. Um, we recommend keeping it to one side of A4. So um, if you have that space, I would say use it wisely, um, because this kind of anecdote doesn't necessarily add um, strength to your candidacy. You should really focus more on your skills and your experience and your knowledge and expertise that you can bring to the job instead. A lot of people tend to focus on their education or on their degrees and whilst it's wonderful to have these things unless it's specifically required that you need to have a degree for this role or you're using it as an example of having a specific skill that they have asked for it's not relevant to go into too much detail about your education your degree or your modules and again it's just wasting that valuable space as a rule of thumb a recruiter is going to spend about 30 seconds reading a cover letter because there are so many applicants for entry-level roles so you need to make sure that yours packs a punch it's relevant and it is specific to the job specification a final tip i would say is just just keep trying recruitment is really dependent on the company and on the team um, it please don't take it personally because what works for one team and one company might not work for another. It doesn't necessarily mean your application was bad if you didn't make it to interview stage or shortlist stage for any particular job. Um, so some teams might be looking specifically for someone very junior that they can develop. Someone, another team might not have the support in place and therefore are looking for someone a little bit further along. All of these things are 
you know, they're out of your control. The best you can do is concentrate on your application um, and keep looking for jobs. Mm -hmm.